Dang, wine jelly. Hey guys, Lacey here. Welcome to 80 Acres, where it is officially spring mode here in Northwest Oklahoma. All the wild things are growing out in the yard, and whenever I say wild things, I just mean weeds, okay? <laughs> when I discovered that all the weeds are more than likely edible, I decided, you know what, I'm not gonna call them weeds anymore, I'm gonna call them wild things. So, dandelions specifically today. Um, we are gonna make some dandelion jelly here in a second. But before I get to that, I wanted to share a quick progress report of our greenhouse. So here lately we've had some warm days, so we've had to leave the door open as well. Good thing Austin was pretty adamant about getting this anchor to the ground because we already had our first storm and the aftermath was that it's still standing. <laughs> This is what I got going on in the greenhouse. Usually I start all my seeds myself, but you know what? I took advantage of the dollar sale at my Atwoods and I honestly have most of my seeds already started by now, but with all the activities that our kids are in, I just, uh, I was lacking in really having the time to do so. So I went ahead, not feeling guilty at all, got some starts from my Atwoods and feeling really good about it because honestly it was a lot of less work. <laughs> Last year I planted two types of paste tomatoes and same Marzano's actually did really good here in Northwest Oklahoma. So I'm doing that again with 20 of those. I did practice self-control and I was really proud of myself. I could have bought a whole bunch more. And honestly, I really will buy a few more plants, but I'm hoping our FFA, our local FFA will have their starts ready probably in the next week or so. Um, but majority of these are tomatoes, peppers. I do have some cabbages and broccolis. So far I'm not disappointed in these starts. They all look really healthy and so we're moving forward in the growing season. So that's enough with the greenhouse. Let's get inside and make some dandelion jelly. First, we had to forage all of our dandelion flowers that we needed for this recipe, which was three to four cups, which made really quick work whenever you employ your children to do this with you. <laughs> and don't worry, we did practice the number one rule when foraging. Only take what you need because this is one of the first flowers that pops up here in Northwest Oklahoma available for the bees. That's a big one. Yeah, it is. A big one. In order to make jelly, we have to make a dandelion tea first with these dainty little petals. Yes, we have to pluck all the little petals out of these flowers. It is tedious work, but honestly, if you just roll and pinch at the same time, it does the trick just fine. We started out with three cups of flowers and we ended up with two cups of petals. Now pour boiling hot water into the quart jar all the way to the top and simmer for about 24 hours. And that's how you make dandelion tea. No, I'm not one to be wasteful, so I'm going to actually put my dandelion scraps into a pint jar and fill it up with alcohol and to cover for one to three months, which will be used for a tincture because did you know it actually provides a lot of antioxidants? Now let's get down to making jelly after 24 hours of letting it sit. I actually prefer using a cheesecloth as my strainer and then placing that over my funnel just because it catches all the little tidbits that I do not want in my jelly. And be sure to squeeze all the goodness out of these petals because that is what this tea is, the nectar goodness. Look at that color right there. Ooh, don't worry, it gets better. One package of pectin, two tablespoons of lemon, and then put it on the stove to boil. And when you choose the lemon, make sure you take the time to make lemonade. <laughs> Now getting back to the jelly, once it reaches that first rolling boil, you're gonna add the four cups of sugar. Yes, I know it's a lot of sugar, but we're making jelly. We're gonna dissolve it by stirring and then bring it back to a rolling boil for another one to two minutes. When it comes to canning, I don't get anything fancy. I just have a towel, cheesecloth, some vinegar, the rings, the lids, the funnel, and the jar getter outer. Dandelion jelly. Ah, that's hot. Is it hot? Go ahead and try it. <laughs> it's vinegar, honey. <laughs> yeah. Did you like that? Kind of. You kind of liked it? Oh my goodness. It only filled up six jars plus this one right here, which I guess we'll just taste it tonight. <laughs> oh, that's 
And that's all there really is to it. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye. It's very good. You say red jelly. What does? Tastes like jelly. It tastes like jelly. Yeah. Yeah. This is what it tastes like. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad it doesn't taste like flowers or grass. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I like it. It's sweet and funny. <laughs>